Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sharp Designs by Lakeisha, where I am designing my way through life. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made this gorgeous tile backdrop along with the balloon garlands to accent it for an event that I have on tomorrow. Hey guys, so we had to make a quick trip to Home Depot in the middle of this vlog because I have a, another vlog that I'm doing for my channel that like I normally do is the backdrop for an event and we are here by these huge walls that I'm going to be using so yeah Faith and Dakota are right behind us Lonnie is with me and so I basically have to pick out is this the right wall? this is the right wall let me see no this is not what I need Oh, so this is what we need. This one is 14.90 half by four by eight, so it's a half inch thick. All right guys, so I have made it back home and I do have walls that um, you saw me getting in the last clip. Um, I got two of them and what I'm gonna be doing today is I got this awesome tile from efavormart.com and I'm gonna be using that to create a backdrop for an event that I have this Saturday. Um, the colors are rose gold, chocolate, and cream and I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to do a balloon garden. Coda is over here chilling on the couch in this junky front room that my events are taking up. Say hi, Coda. What I have already started doing is um, I did a test run on the tile just to make sure. I was a little concerned about the weight of these um, walls and the tile because those boxes are like super, super heavy. So I'm gonna do one and get started. I did a test one and let me tell you, this this is actually self-adhesive. When you are using it, you just wanna be sure that you are um, putting it down exactly where you want it to go. And these are in 12 by 12 squares. And so these walls are four feet in diameter this way and then eight feet tall. Um, so I actually ordered two cases of the tile from the website. And if you guys are interested in purchasing this tile, you can get 10% off by using my discount code that I will have linked in the description box of this vlog. So we are about to get started <laughs> on the, well I'm gonna get started on the vlog. Dakota's gonna probably pop in and out like she normally does. My niece, if you watched my last, if you have not watched my last vlog, be sure to go check that out. We did a family vlog, it was a challenge, and we did the letting the person in front of us decide what we eat for 24 hours. We tried a ton of new things that we have never ordered at restaurants that we go to all the time, so be sure to check out that vlog. Milan is here, but she is still sleeping, um, so she may pop in the vlog a little later, but without further ado, let's get started. So before I actually jump into putting the towel down, I wanted to give you guys a better view of how yeah. <laughs> of how um, it works. So you have these 12 by 12 sheets, which I did explain to you, and the towel is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to put it together. I'm praying it comes out how I want it to. I've never done this before, and as you guys know, I always bring you guys along for the ride. So hi. <laughs> so hi. <laughs> so, silly. so basically, it comes. Um, Hi. All right, Cody. Now you're taking over a little too much. <laughs> Hi. All right, Cody. Let mommy do this real quick. Okay, so basically, the towel comes Hi. with. <laughs> just gonna keep saying hi. They can't even see you, silly. <laughs> All right, thank you. So the towel basically comes with self-adhesive on the back and it has this red covering that's over it. All you're doing is Hi. peeling that off and this Hi. part right here is super, 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 super sticky. So wherever you place it, you better be sure that's where you want it. And this is also good for home interior if you wanna do like a backsplash in the bathroom or the kitchen, this can be used for that as well. It's already had, I already had this one here in place. And so what I'm gonna do is finish peeling off the back of this and then I'm gonna just align it up right next to this one. So like I said, you wanna make sure it is exactly where you want it to be because once you put it down, this bad boy is stuck. is what it looks 
Like there's also a film over this, so it's not even as shiny as it will be. And see, it gets even more shiny once this comes off, but I'm gonna leave this on here until I'm done so it doesn't get like a whole bunch of fingerprints and stuff. All right guys, quick check in. I've managed to do just two and a half rows so far. It's slowing me down now because I'm realizing that the plastic that's protecting the towel is actually going around it in some spots. So this is what it looks like without plastic on it and this is what it looks like um, with the plastic. So I'm having to pull up the plastic in some spots just to make sure it's not caught in between the two sets of tiles, but so far so good. Um, I love how it's coming out and it's gonna be really, really pretty once I do my balloon garland around it. And as of right now, the wall is kind of heavy. It's pretty solid, um, but I'm gonna finish um, the rest and see how heavy it is. But yeah, stay tuned. All right guys, so I have finished the towel and I have it standing up here propped against the wall. It's standing up pretty good without any type of backdrop or support. Um, I, feel, I filled it up as far as seven feet tall and I left a foot open because that is where my balloon garland is going to come down on this side. Um, some of the tiles were a little irregular as far as the sizing being perfect. I don't know what it was. So the outside over here on this end is left out. I could use my X-Acto knife and just slice that part off. But since the balloons are gonna be coming down on this side, it doesn't really matter. But I really love how it came out. The only thing that I would recommend is for you guys to pop use plywood if you're gonna do one this size because the foam board is sturdy, but if you, because of the weight of the towel, if you hold it a certain way, the board could bend. I don't think it'll break because the towel is stuck to it, but I did have just a tad bit of an issue standing it up when I was doing it by myself um, in one section, but once I realized what was, that it was gonna start bending, I quickly went ahead and grabbed it the right way and stood it up. It's heavy, but not too heavy. Um, but yeah, I love how it has came out so far. It's gonna be super cute for pictures. Now I just have my second board that's over here waiting to be done. I'm gonna film that one off camera because I don't want this vlog to get too long. I've already showed you guys how I did the first and I'm gonna do this one the same exact way. And then I will check back in with you guys once I start my balloon garland. And I can go ahead and show you guys the balloons I'm gonna be using. As you guys know, Quaylatex is one of my favorite brands of balloons. So I'm gonna be using some cream or ivory, however you wanna describe it. I think they have it as ivory. Ivory balloons and then I have some chocolate color, cover, chocolate cover, chocolate colored balloons. And then I also have some of my rose gold orbs balloons. I also have some regular rose gold Quailatex balloons that are upstairs that I'm gonna incorporate that are um, 16 inches. And then I have, I'm not gonna do as many rose gold because that whole wall is rose gold. So I'm gonna have these rose gold balloons here and the orbs balloons to accent it. And then I have five, 11, and 16 inch cream and chocolate. So yeah, stay tuned. Guys, I'm back and I'm finished blowing up all the balloons for my first half of my garland. I'm gonna do that one on camera with you guys. And these are my colors. I have the chocolate, the ivory, I have some regular matte rose gold, and then I have my um, bright, shiny rose gold orb balloons. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that put together. These are my five inch balloons over here on the couch that I'm gonna use in to fill in my gaps that me and Coda blew up earlier. Hey guys, so I'm 
come back and I have my fishing wire, my 15 pound fishing wire. I'm gonna start off to making my balloon garland and I'm gonna speed things up. And if you, this is your first time watching my channel, I do have a full balloon garland tutorial a little further back if you go check that out. A perfect one would be when I did the Aloha Luau baby shower. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make one with you guys. I'm gonna do two garlands, one for one side and one for the other side so that it's easier to transport. And I'm gonna start off by taking my fishing line and wrapping it around the balloon. If you hear some noise in the back, it's just my niece and nephew. I tie a knot around my first cluster. And in the previous clip I showed you all my balloons in, you will see that the balloons were all tied in pairs. Some people do fours, but I, I like to do mine in two, so it's a lot easier for me. So I have my first cluster hooked onto the balloon with the string you can see here. And I'm gonna take another cluster. We'll do this one here. I'm gonna crisscross it in between, kind of creating a X. I'll push it down in the center, holding my balloon string and my fishing line in this hand. I'm gonna go over the new balloon, give it a slight tug, come back up, and go over the existing balloon, kind of like a figure eight. And on the first one, I like to do that on all balloons, so I'm gonna go over the new, bring it back around the existing, and then it comes right back up in the center. And then I have my first cluster. Over the new, around the existing, bring it up, slight tug, wrap around. So I have my string here. I'm gonna go over, push the new pair down in between where you want it. And then I'm gonna go over the new, back around under an existing slight pull. I like to loop it around sometimes for good measure. Do this cluster here, I'm gonna put it in between in between here, over, uh oh, gotta keep up with the string, over the new slight pull. I'm gonna take it around an existing, bring it, uh oh, go around. It's going around the existing. It's so hard doing this, I'm trying to show you guys at the same time. I'm gonna go around the new again, and back under another existing. Remember guys, just doing it like a figure eight, wrap it around on top of good measure. And this is what I have so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and get busy. All right guys, so what I did next was at the top of my board, I actually put two pieces of my Gorilla Tape that I showed you in my balloon mosaic video. And I placed that here and I punched two holes in it in different spots. And so what I'm gonna do is use zip ties or balloon string and just attach the balloon garland to the backdrop. Hi right, guys, so I am back and I have attached the first balloon garland that I made. I really love how it's looking right now. This is done using all 12 and 16 inch balloons and I'm gonna go in with my five inch balloons here momentarily just to fill in some gaps and give it a little bit more dimension but it is looking really good right now and I will check back in with you guys in a second and I did attach it using the holes and the tape that I showed you. The tape is so that the board does not tear. If it got like a little bit of weight on it, the tape will stop it from tearing. So that's why I did it that way and I can show you guys how I attached it from the back of the board here. Just let me head on back there. So this is how it looks in the back of the board. The two holes, I just pulled the balloon string through the back and tied a knot and the tape is gonna keep the board from tearing. I'm gonna be attaching the five inch balloons to the balloon garland using Zots. I will link these in the description box below. Hopefully they work better than they did for me when I did my number two. And if these do not work this time, I'm gonna use my low temperature hot glue gun. All 
All right, guys, so I am back with the finished product. I finished filling in the gap with the smaller ones, and I decided not to go down the other side completely because my client will be using the dessert table, and I wanted to ensure that there was enough room right here in the front for that dessert table to go. So I decided to just go across the top and down the side. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I will do my best to get to you guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. See you. Bye-bye, everybody.